Hello everyone, this is Teresa Wong. Today I'd like to share with you um, some of my uh, thoughts um, about um, what I've been doing the last uh, decade, I suppose. Um, so I started um, this blog around uh, actually more than more than seven okay <laughs> I'm trying to count <laughs> seven and a half years now I think yes so I started writing this blog uh, since 2009 like end of 2009 but I didn't really write anything at that time um, I just started it because I, my my idea was uh, I've learned all these things and I would really love to share this knowledge freely to anybody you know anywhere in the world uh, you know because some people just don't have the resource you know uh, to learn these things and I would really love to help them uh, and also you know they can really come to me <laughs> physically in person right so I just thought oh you know let me write uh, something but actually um, I didn't write anything that time I just kind of wrote a little bio of myself you know oh, I'm like a pianist from Hong Kong blah blah so I just didn't think that, you know, the things that I knew uh, was somebody didn't know. I mean, it's like there are so many uh, pianists, you know, musicians and teachers, you know, in Hong Kong, uh, in the world that they don't really need me to write this, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. but uh, after a few months, um, I really started to have this idea of, um, you know, really focus uh, on my teaching. Because um, I think this like I I was trained uh, uh, in performance, so I you know I, I was very into like playing <laughs> performing. So after I came back uh, to Hong Kong from the States in like uh, 2004, I uh, performed mostly. I didn't really teach much, and uh, but I always remember that you know I had uh, a few great teachers. Who had inspired me and encouraged me um, when I actually really want to give up, you know. So um, I really wanted to be like them, you know, like the teacher and uh, for my student, like that kind of teacher, you know. Um, so I uh, started, you know, in 2010, uh, my own studio, and I started writing. Once I started writing, I couldn't stop. It's just like there's so many things I want to write about. Oh, maybe technical things or musical things or, you know, about piano or literature or about psychology, you know, how to teach, you know, how to interact, how to communicate, you know. Um, these are all the other things that are very important, you know. Um, especially for teaching, uh, a lot of the times that even you have the knowledge, if you don't know how to communicate with people, then you cannot really convey, you know, uh, your message very well. And I wasn't like the best, actually. I, was, I would consider myself like really sociable. I, I, I'm not good at talking. I wasn't. I'm still like not like great, you know. But I think I really have improved a lot in the last decade because I really, really wanted to teach well. So I read a lot of books, you know, how to be, you know, Good communicator, you know how to use words, how to emphasize, you know how to like um, have a positive attitude, you know um, how to encourage people, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, sometimes I force my students to read, but not like force, but I would give them books. Okay, you read this, you know. Hope you feel you know more encouraged after this. And um, so um, I think you know I. Uh, Throughout these years, I've uh, taught a lot of people, and I have uh, great, you know, connection with a lot of people. Not just you know through my studio, my school, but like all over the world. You know, people start contacting me, you know, about lessons or just to give me some feedback or comments. Oh, you'd be great. You know, thanks so much for your help. Or even people who actually don't play piano would tell me, Oh, you have inspired me. You know, and people, you know, like. Uh, there was 
uh, you know, sometimes there's collaboration, you know, with like other musicians and uh, or people need my help with exams, you know, uh, writing and uh, syllabus, you know, um, a lot of things related directly or not. So I'm really grateful to have this opportunity, you know, through my blog and then like my website and my channel, my Facebook pages. Not so much Twitter because, um, but uh, because I'm, I'm not really on it much. Uh, oh, and it's on cloud. I use that a little bit. Uh, but um, what I want to say is, I'm really, really thankful uh, for all of you. Whether you're my student or not, you know, my readers or not, you like me or not, you know, you give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm still thankful that you contributed to my channel, contributed to this community. But I really want to uh, create a positive, you know, encouraging, inspiring musical community for us. Or, you know, not only locally in Hong Kong, but, you know, can we try to extend a little bit, you know, in Asia and, you know, Europe and America, all over the world, you know. We can connect through music. Even we speak the different languages, we from different cultures, you know, different background, different... Uh, gender, you know, the, um, different pro uh, professions, uh, different ages, you know. it doesn't really matter. I mean, I love people coming in and then say, oh, I want to learn piano and I'm like 65. We, ha we haven't had that yet. We, I think uh, the record we have is 51. I love it. It's just, you never start late. The late is just, you never start, you know. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. But. Music is great, you know. Don't compare yourself with like a ten year old, like he's a prodigy or he he passed like grade eight when he's five. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you know. I mean you can always find somebody better than you and you can always find somebody worse than you. What what's most important is, you know, compare with yourself. Are you better than yesterday? You know? Are you a better pianist than yesterday? Are you a better teacher than yesterday? Are you a better person than yesterday? Just compare yourself, you know. And also, you know, don't be just like, you know, too self-critical. Uh, you have to encourage yourself, you know. You have to have confidence and have the courage and, you know, just have to keep going. You know, a lot of times it's like, nothing is just like go so smoothly. It's like, oh, we just progress like that, you know, like, one straight line up. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. More. More often than not, it's like, you know, ups and downs, ups and downs, and then it's like plateau. A lot of times, you know, when you practice, you go, okay, wow, it's great, you know, and then it's kind of like, uh, plateau, and then it's kind of like worse, it's like, oh, yeah, uh. Even when you practice more, it's like, what's going on, you know? Um, but that's the time you don't stop. I mean, you can, you know, pause, you can, you know, sulk a little bit, you get frustrated, you know, but don't sulk for too long, don't get angry for too long, don't get depressed for too long. You know, just keep working. Find a different solution, you know, find a different way to practice, find a different way to think about music, listen to the music, analyze the music, you know. Do something else. You know, a lot of times like practice uh, is not just here at the piano, you know. You can practice anywhere because, you know, eventually, of course, you know, you have to have this practical work on the fingers, but a lot of things here, you know, your mind how you think about things, you know, how you solve problems. So I always ask my students to think, you know, you have to think about how to solve the problem, how to analyze the songs, you know, what's going on with your body, you know, why you can't do this. Uh, do you really understand what's going on with the music, right? Can you know, can you understand deeper? Can you understand, in the, you know, like find the details, you know? Um, so, and feel your body, you know? And how it works, how it moves, you know, can you do it in smooth motion, you know, a lot of times we don't feel our body because when we sit at the piano, we just feel like, okay, we're gonna do that, you know, we can't move, but it's not like that, you know, we ever seen the people play violin, you know, cello and sing, you know, or dance, it's the same, you know, you, you, you move from the core, you know, the body, so it's not here. Um, once you feel more of your body, you can feel, oh, okay, now I understand more how it works. You know, it's big muscles, you know, how you engage your body and, you know, use your body to help you. So that's very important. So that's the technical things. But also feel, you know, 
you have to feel from your heart, like connect with the piano, communicate with the piano, communicate with yourself actually. Do you know how you feel? Because often I don't think we know how we feel. How we feel about ourselves, how we feel about the piano, how we feel about play, how we feel about the music. We don't want to feel because people might hear how we feel. <laughs> but music is about emotion, you know, it's about feelings, it's about expression. And where does that expression come from? You know, if you want to play pitch perfect, I mean like you were singing all the valley, but you want to play everything perfect, you can find a robot. So why don't we listen to robot? Why don't we listen to computer music? Computer generated classical music. We don't. Uh, or whatever kind of music. It's just there's no soul, right? We say it's no soul or you know emotion. So humans are not perfect. Once you accept that you're not perfect, then it's like, oh, okay, you know, it's not like I asked you to like, play wrongly, but you have to accept the fact that, you know, we're humans. So human make mistakes and we feel, okay? Uh, then the body is part of this instrument, okay? We don't make sounds through this body like a singer, you know, that's, but you need to engage your body, engage your mind, engage your heart, you know? and then you can make great music. Yes, the music uh, has been written by great composers, but you are the one who plays, right? So it's your music too. So if you don't feel anything, then it's just mechanical. Now, uh, again, I'm really grateful that you've been following me, watching my videos, and uh, I hope you've been learning things <laughs> from me, so you find things useful. I'm really glad that people have commented and say, oh, this is really useful, thanks so much, or you inspire me, encourage me. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Sometimes, you know, um, I wonder, you know, why am I doing this? Like, is anybody actually even like watching or caring about what I'm doing, you know? Because it actually takes a lot of time, you know, like video or something and then editing it and then putting it online, you know, just even like a two minute video. Um, so I really appreciate anybody who give me feedback, you know, through the comments or in the emails and um, whether you like it or not, <laughs> I'm still doing this. Um, but I really hope that we can be positive for each other. Um, um, and uh, I hope you get inspired and you can make your own channel, you know? I, I, I encourage my student to make uh, her own channel too and now she's at her own channel and it's great, you know? Uh, just pay, for, pay forward. So until next time, this is Therese Wong. Cheers. <laughs>